Hello, I'm Allie, and welcome back to another reading vlog. Alright, so I just posted my last reading vlog, not yesterday, but I think the day before, and the last I updated you, I was in the middle of reading. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I actually did a little bit of reading yesterday, so I am now up to page 181, chapter 20. And so far, my thoughts are remaining the same. I really love it. It's a super, super fast read, which I'm really enjoying it. And like I said before, it's it's definitely one of the books after one chapter, you just have to read another chapter because every chapter happens to end with a cliffhanger. And it just really makes you want to keep reading. And so... Uh, you know, I really love that about this book and the writing style makes it so fast to read. So yeah, I'm continuing to have a really good time with this one. And I am also still in the middle of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, I am actually up to chapter 10 now. I, my bookmark's on chapter 9. I just haven't updated it. I'm reading the audiobook for this one, continuing to have a great time. Uh, I read this on audio last year, actually, the first time I when I read it for the first time. So listening to it on audio again just makes me feel very nostalgic. I am obviously following along in the book as well, and I'm just having a really great time. And the last book that I plan on reading for this blog, which I mentioned at the end of my other blog, is Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace. This is a poetry book. And I plan on reading the entirety of this in this vlog, and I'm also going to be annotating it as well. Um, I currently have three, I think it's three other books by Amanda Lovelace, and I they're all poetry books. And I really, really adore her writing. Uh, the way she does it, I'm really able to connect. And I have a really good feeling about this one in particular, so I'm super excited to read it and just kind of see what it's all about. Um, I showed this in my last vlog, but it has beautiful like drawings and papers and there's like little doodles and everything almost on every page, which I really love that about this book because it really just makes the atmosphere so much more, you know, magical and, and unique. And it just, I think it really adds a lot to the poetry, it adds a lot to what she's trying to say. And so, yeah, so far it's given me such a whimsical, you know, fairy tale vibe. And I'm really liking that. Um, all of her books tend to make me feel that way. So I'm really excited to continue and read with this one. So, yeah, I thought I was just going to jump here, start this vlog, uh, this next vlog, and give you those updates that I have. And I will let you know when I read some more. Uh, I have to wrap some presents this weekend well it's actually Sunday so the week's getting ready to start so I'm going to be wrapping some presents this week because I have been procrastinating doing that um, and Christmas is on Saturday so I have no choice but to wrap some presents this week so I'm definitely going to get some footage of me doing that while listening to my audiobook and continue just to get little clips of when I'm walking out uh, um, you're probably going to see me have hanging out with the family and stuff during this vlog too so just little footage of that went to a Christmas party yesterday for my family which was super fun but this week is just going to be a lot more intimate with just you know my mom and dad and my brother and so I'm really excited I'm really excited to get some footage of that and I'm just really excited to start this vlog in general so yeah that's the only update I have for now pretty short update I have but I will update you once I get some more reading done and yeah I'll see you in the next clip bye
right hello i'm back with another reading update um as you saw before in the last clip i sat down in bed and i started reading break your glass slippers by amanda lovelace and i actually finished it um i have a clip of a few of my uh few quotes in here that i underlined because i uh annotated the entire book and my final thoughts on it is quite amazing i was completely right about this book or about this poetry book going into it i had thought this i just had a really good feeling about this one i thought i was going to be able to rate relate to this one a lot more than i have to the other ones and i was completely right um so i gave it five out of five stars and this is definitely a poetry book that i'm going to continue reading over and over again um, it really has some great messages with within it and I really I really enjoyed it so I really recommend this poetry book for someone uh, she definitely based this off of Cinderella um, but it's um, kind of how to make your own Cinderella story and um, so I'm gonna read the quote on the back so it says dear prince if you tried to find me now you wouldn't be able to you see when i finally learned how to love myself everything about me changed love the princess um and i think that's kind of a good summary of what this book is about and i really really loved it i would like to say there are a bunch of trigger warnings for this book um what i do really appreciate about it though is that she puts um a page for all the trigger warnings at the very beginning right here and so just be aware of all these uh, trigger warnings before you read and make sure that you're mentally okay because it does deal with some pretty heavy topics. So just make sure you're taking care of yourself and stuff like that as you're reading it. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Five out of five stars. And I'm really excited to continue reading her work and to continue reading more poetry because I really like more poetry and I really need to, you know, start reading more of it. So I'm really glad I was finally able to get to this one. And my next update, so right after I finished that, I picked up Cinder again, and I am on page 302, which is chapter 31. I'm about 75% of the book, according to Goodreads, and I might finish it tonight, but if I don't finish it tonight, I plan on finishing it tomorrow. And I continue to be very surprised by this book. I went into it with kind of high expectations but also you know not expecting a lot because I know you know over the years a lot has changed my reading taste has developed and changed over the years so I was very aware of that going into my book going into this book but I still honestly really like it and I completely forgot how much I forgot about like there's so many aspects of this book that I completely forgot about and so being able to read them again and like experience them again I'm honestly having such a great time and so yeah um yeah i'm really excited to continue this book um like i said before it's very such a fast read for me it really doesn't take me long to get through it but i really like taking my time i really want to digest the story this time because the first time that um i read it i i read it so fast and i i read it all in one sitting and so this time i'm really reading everything that I read and really taking in all the details of it and I'm really enjoying that aspect of it I'm really enjoying um you know just really understanding the background and the lineage and truly the lore of this entire world um it's it's truly amazing and another thing I want to discuss about this book is the relationship between Cinder and Kai so Kai is the prince that she meets in the first chapter and I just I just really really love the relationship between them. I think it's such an authentic and the way their relationship starts is just so pure that they just I mean out of everything that's happening you have so many conflicts happening within this book i mean there's so many political things constantly happening and you know anxieties are constantly being raised but every scene that you have between these two characters is just pure joy pure happiness because it's just so simple between them and that's why i like it um obviously their situations you know are not simple you know, Cinder hasn't been completely honest with him and there are some things that have to come to light. And so things are soon going to be very complicated between them, I feel. Um, and I do remember that in the last book. 
um, the ending just completely blew me away and I just had to read the next one immediately and so I'm you know ready for that this time and you know in this second reread of this and I'm expecting for things to really go downhill soon but for now I'm just really enjoying like such a peaceful relationship between the two because it's just so genuine and it's so easy for them to talk to each other and you can really feel the connection that they have with each other and it's just amazing and I remember that being the main reason why I loved this book the first time is because I just absolutely I love romance and relationships I love a good romance in a fantasy book like a very good romance and so yeah I'm really really enjoying that aspect of this book but like I said um it's oh, my hair I'm also enjoying, you know, really focusing on the lore this time, really learning the political um, world and seeing how their politics works, works. It's actually quite interesting and I'm actually having a really good time like focusing on that and learning more about that. So I, it's definitely something different that I'm paying attention to during this read and I'm actually super enjoying it. I love the lore in this book. I love how they are able to set up this whole, you know, futuristic world and how they're able to like put little hints of our world within this world. And they're, you know, like, oh, that's so old. Like, I can't believe people used to do things like that. You know, I really like to see stuff like that and them relating it to our world. So yeah, that's something else about this book that I really enjoy. And yeah, that's all the reading updates I have for now. I haven't done any more of my audiobook. I don't know if I'll do any more today. I don't know if I'm going to do any more reading today. I might kind of relax the rest of the day, watch a movie, um, but I'm not really sure yet. Um, so yeah, I will just keep you updated if I do any more reading, and yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. December 27th and it's been a hot minute since I've decided to update you guys um I ended up getting really overwhelmed had a few days of anxiety and kind of just wanted to take a break not have to worry about filming and just kind of spend some quality time with my family and just kind of focus on myself for a little while so that's why I think uh do any updates or anything um there's a few clips of me like going on a walk and watching some harry potter and stuff um but that's about all i did i did also as well get a lot of reading done so that's why i'm here right now because i thought i would finally give you some updates so currently i am on chapter two of harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban and the last time I updated you, I believe I was reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So, as you probably guessed, I finished it. I think I ended up giving it four out of five stars. Don't quote me on that. You can uh, you can always check my Goodreads to double check. Uh, I either gave it four or five, four st four out of five stars or five out of five stars. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Um, I really ended up enjoying it and right afterwards I ended up watching not only the first Harry Potter movie and also the second Harry Potter movie because as I'm reading these books I really like to watch the movies afterwards and it's just it's really a fun time. So yeah I did start Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, I'm only one chapter in. Um, my favorite chapter <laughs> of all time is next chapter two. Aunt Marge's big mistake. If you know what happens you know what happens. It's I think it's one of the most memorable, hilarious moments of this book. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm not too far into it, so I don't have very many thoughts. 
Um, I also happened to finish Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I, it's on my bookshelf right now. That's why I'm not showing it to you. I ended up giving it four out of five stars. Um, my initial rating for it was five out of five stars. So it did go down a rating. Um, but it's not anything that the book did. It's simply because my reading tastes have changed and evolved so much since the last time I read it. Um, I, it's a great uh, novel. I absolutely love it. It's just since my reading taste had changed a little bit, um, I gave it a four out of five stars instead of five out of five stars because that's just personally how I felt about it. Um, it was still fantastic. I absolutely loved it. The ending was just as shocking as I knew it was going to be. I could, I knew that the end was like shocking and a lot of things happened. I did not know exactly what, but I knew something like big was going to happen and a lot of big things happened. Um, definitely left out on a cliffhanger right beside me right here i pulled from my bookshelf already is the second book which is called scarlet by marissa meyer uh this book is a little red riding hood retelling as you can see there's her uh signature red uh hoodie and she's got some red hair and that's what the scarlet um you can kind of see all the themes going there um, I really, uh, I, the last time I read this, I read it on a road trip, um, all in one day. It was just as good. Um, I do remember liking Cinder more than I liked this, but this was still just as gripping, still just as amazing. This one follows a new character whose name is Scarlet. Um, so we get her point of view, but we also at the same time are continuing Cinder's, uh, storyline as well. So we get her point of view as well. And we also get Kai's point of view in this as well. So we have quite a few different, uh, point of views in this one. Uh, I really honestly remember very, very little of this one. Um, I, I know the romance, very little of it. I just know, uh, who it is exactly that the romance is with but other than that I really remember nothing I haven't even started this yet um but to be honest I don't know if this is going to be the next book I'm reading because I have a little book haul for you guys um which we'll just jump into that real quick so the first book that um I bought these all with my own money um I didn't get any books for Christmas sad I actually technically got one I got a Amazon gift card and using that gift card I bought a book but it's not here yet it should be here tomorrow but for now um the first book that I bought was Golden S Golden Sun by Pierce Brown which is the second book in the Red Rising trilogy um I actually think it's four books I think uh, she ended up adding one more, but I think originally it was supposed to be a trilogy. Um, you can see it right here. It says book two of the Red Rising trilogy. I read the first book while I was still at school. I absolutely loved it. I have not been as invested in a fantasy world as I have been in this one in a while. Uh, after I finished the first book, I immediately wanted to pick up the second book, but I didn't have it so sadly I couldn't. But I haven't had that feeling about, um, you know, this book in a really long time or in a book series for a really long time. So I'm really excited. This is a sci-fi novel. Um, I'm not going to go into depth on the, um, what this book is about until I start reading it. Um, once I start reading it, then I'll give you a uh, kind of a synopsis on the trilogy as a whole. Obviously, I won't be saying specifics about it when I start reading this book because it is the second book and I don't want to spoil anything. But when I start it, I will give you like a good synopsis about what the whole trilogy is about as a whole. So yeah, this is one of the books that I got. The second book that I got, which I have been wanting for a very long time, is Ace of Spades. I do not want to butcher this author's name. So you can see it right here. Um, I'm really sorry. I just don't want to. I have no idea how to pronounce it and I don't want to be disrespectful. So I'm not really going to try. But you can see the author right here. Um, and yeah, I'm honestly kind of feeling I might be starting this one next. Um, I'm definitely a mood reader and I just read what sounds, you know, interesting at the time and what I feel like picking up. And I'm kind of being drawn towards this one right now. So this uh, is going to be potentially my next read, um, but definitely one of these three for sure is going to be my next read. Um, and once I get my 
book tomorrow I will be uh, showing you guys the book that I got and stuff like that. I'm not going to say it now. I'm going to wait until it comes in the mail. Um, you might not actually see that till the next vlog because I think I'm going to be wrapping up this vlog right here. Um, I know I didn't do a lot of talking. I mean, I kind of, I don't know. I think I did okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, so um, that's all the updates that I have for you right now. And as I said, I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog right here. I think I have enough footage uh, to complete the vlog. Um, I actually am proud of myself for how much I got done. So I ended up reading my poetry book. I also finished Cinder. I also finished Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and started Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So I think that's a pretty successful vlog in, in my point of view. So yeah, uh, that's all the updates that I have. Um, I figured I would jump on real quick and just let you guys know the books that I finished and the next books that I plan on starting or reading in the next vlog. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys for this vlog and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Please feel free to comment, subscribe, click the like button, all that fun jazz. Um, as I've said before in my other vlogs, if you, there's anything you want to see specifically um, in this vlog, in my upcoming vlogs, please let me know down below. Um, anything, any tips or whatever you have on editing and stuff like that, feel free to leave them down below. I'm definitely looking to improve uh, the quality of each vlog. I hope they slowly uh, increase in quality with every one that I up with every one that I upload. So please, please, please let me know if there's anything you would like to see down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next reading vlog. Bye.